Solstheim is finally free from Mirak's curse, and apparently you did indeed inspire Kinawa to get past Hermamora's slimy wiles. Hermaeus Mora's slimy wiles. I'm stealing that for future use. How is everything over there? Eh, Graham could be better, but Kinawa's off flying around on dragons and will meet us back in Whiterun, apparently. Or Helgen. I think Helgen's more likely. Ah. Is this an everyone gathering? Wait, flying around on dragons? Hey, that's what Gran said. The Dragonborn has a plan and nobody knows what it is. That sounds about right. And I, family gathering, so to speak. If you're not busy, of course. We're gonna wait a bit and it'll take us some time to get back there anyway. Of course. And no, I'm not. We're not busy, that is. Ingrath and Zaytest had some business to take care of, but we can come back up. I also suspect that Zaytest is going to need to retrieve Inigo for this, so take your time. All right, we'll see you there, I hope. <sighs> you all right, love? Yeah. Who are you writing to? Maud good, actually. Mirak is dealt with, and everyone's gathering in maybe White Run, possibly Helgen. Are we... Are we going? Well, that didn't take long, and I don't see why not. Well, I was sort of looking forward to heading for Coral, but... Hun, we've got all eternity to come back. We can afford to take our time. True. I hope. I think I know what you mean now about being afraid of getting interrupted. Hmm. Hey, fatalistic wool gathering is supposed to be my job. I don't think fatalistic wool gathering should be anybody's job, but good point. Besides, I want to get out of Cyrodiil again as soon as possible, before Armin grows a brain and realizes who I am if he even saw me. I doubt he could see anything past the end of his own ego, but I do agree with you. We'll gather up Z come nightfall then? Mm-hmm. She'll probably be back for a meal around dusk. Let her eat and we'll take off then. In the meantime, let's just rest. Yeah. How's your arm, love? Sore. <laughs> That's why I want to rest with my own personal hearth. I can honestly say I'm not surprised, what with all the axe swinging and whatnot. Spare me, love. I'm an old man with a tremor. Look. <laughs> if you were an Imperial, you'd only be like four years older than me. Shush. So, you're really just gonna go back to Whiterun and what? Retire? Hey. I've been thinking about what you said, Wee Baron. Uh, well, you have me at a loss, then. What'd I say? Something about having other family. Obviously, you're my family, but... I think the companions are, too. And I'm more than happy to hang up my halberd and walk in Kodlak's footsteps. Who's Kodlak? He was the previous harbinger. And a good man. I didn't know him long, but he left an impression on me. I think the other members of the Circle know him better than I ever did. Ah. Maybe I'll ask Vilkas about him at some point. I'll, uh, tread carefully, though. It sounds like he was well admired. Smart lass. You're bound and determined to get past his grumpiness, aren't you? Aye, absolutely. There is one thing I need to do before we go back to Whiterun, I think. Oh? What's that? I want to show you what to do with these witch heads. I think I'd like to retire from that, too. Oh! Grand, but... It's alright, Morgan. I'm not casting judgement on werewolves in general, I'm just sick of dealing with it. I was done with my monthlies ten winters ago and I was sick of it then. <laughs> uh, aye. That does make a lot of sense. Alright, Grand, lead the way. Here we are. And the entrance is in the top, I forgot. 
What is this place? This is Iskramor's tomb. And it's the place where I... Uh, posthumously? Is that the word? The word for what? Uh, doing something to someone after they're dead? Uh, what exactly did you do, Gran? I cured Godlike of his werewolf... ...problem. That sounds... ...just delightful. Hey, now the trick is going to be... Why is it on the... Huh. Getting back to that room where... All of the magic happens. Without having to go back through the whole damn barrow. Uh, hi. You sure it's gonna work? I have no idea. None whatsoever. I mean, it worked for Kodlak, but whether or not it'll work for me... Uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, you sure I should be around for this? Well, you've got the big flashy sword. I would kind of assume... Yes? Eh, fair enough. What? Uh... Let me just not ask stupid questions, eh? Nah, no such thing as a stupid... question. Not where this is concerned, anyway. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, well... Is that... Is that you? Well, sort of. I sort of expected you to be attacking me right now, mutt. That's what Cudlax did. It attacked immediately. But here's my... My wolf. I guess even she's tired of fighting. That's... Kind of depressing, not gonna lie. Well... You sure you want to do this? Well, if I don't, I will have wasted the witch head. So... Are you going to attack now? You gonna make me hack away at you? I guess not. Well, that's sad, eh? Supposedly? That was... Not what I was expecting to happen, but if it's... <laughs> I doubt it would be that easy if we were to bring, say, Farkas or Vilkas up here. They're warriors. Well, so you. Hey, and I'm tired of being one. I gladly teach the younger companions how to fight and whatnot, but I think I think this Albert has seen enough blood. Hey. 
Well, hey, now I know how to do it. Just throw a Hagraven head in the fire and <laughs> kill a wolf and hope for the best. Hey, that's pretty much it. You want to see if it'll work on you before we go? Uh, actually, no. I'm kind of enjoying being a little bit... Uh... Hairy, shall we say? <laughs> it's useful, the extra strength and uh, speed and whatnot. It, obviously, I... You know, the whole monthly having to turn into a big creature thing. But, I mean... I'm so young, what's one more monthly thing on top of the one I've already got to deal with? <laughs> you know? <sighs> uh, how you feel? Lighter? Or... Tired, mostly. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep since I joined the Companions. You know... That adds a whole other level of why you cared that the... I, Good night's sleep. <laughs> Let's go to Helgen, shall we? <laughs> well, I didn't expect to come back in the middle of a rainstorm, but... I'm not complaining. Thanks, kind. Little welcome home present, I suppose. You have vanquished the great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land. And our very souls. Oh, that's not foreboding. I have vanquished a great evil, yes. I'm hoping I don't become an even greater evil. And they're done that. Need something? Oh, nope. Just talking to myself. Hey, looks like the the trellis is all repaired finally. Good. Has the Empire forsaken us? How could White Run fall into the hands of these stinking half-wit Nords? That's rich. Coming from a stinking half-wit Nord. Nah, the Empire hasn't abandoned anyone. Let the old tree die so a new one can grow. All in the ark. Oh, sorry. Oh. Adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Eh. And I took a sword in the eye. Uh anyway. Where am I going? Helgen. Probably. Might as well. Looks like repairs have gone pretty smoothly around here. Nothing else for me to help with. Somehow nobody died. 
Well, except Torina, obviously. So that's finally dealt with. Good. Housing Rath's arm. Mm. He was favoring it pretty strongly on the way back. I think it's worse than he lets on. That sounds like Stormy, all right. Eh, he'll be okay. Arten is good for him, I think. Glad to hear it. And now, of course, to business. Nature abhors an empty space, as they say. Do you plan on telling Delvin about Thorina's demise? Oh. Hmm. You think I should? It sounds like you have plans. I do, in a way. I'm thinking that I have the Guildmaster sitting at my table, and that the industrious Mr. Mallory might want to know about a freshly opened smuggling path just as much as I would. Ooh, I like the way you think. I'll have to figure out what to say to him, but it is a good idea. Maybe I could arrange a meeting? Good idea, and the sooner the better. The longer we leave the Cutter's old hideouts open, the more likely it is they'll end up in the hands of bandits. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. If that happens, send in me, Indigo, and maybe Thrin. All three of us used to be bandits, we might be able to convince them that smuggling for the guild might be a safer and steadier source of income than mugging farmers and whatnot. Thrin? One of the guild members. Knows his shit and isn't braggy about it. Alright, that sounds good to me. When should I expect to meet with Delvin? Uh, sometime after the party in Helgen? Party in Helgen? He. Kinoa went up and took care of some ancient evil bastard on Soul's side, so we're celebrating. Am I invited? Do you want to be? I think I'd better. I assume Ingrath will be there, and I'd rather like a chance to make sure he's... coping. With what? His arm. Rarely is it ever easy for someone who defines themselves by their strength to be put in a position of relative weakness. Mmm... yeah... I think that would be a good idea. Well, uh, I'll let you get a head start. I told the boys I need to go get Inigo. They don't really know I'm here, but uh, I don't think they'll be too mad at me for it. Not a word from me. Can't you summon him? Well, I can, but nobody remembered at the time. <laughs> okay, see you in Helgen. I might stop to see Delvin before I head back. If you do, wait until after we're done there to tell me about it. The walls have ears and whatnot. Can do. Ah, welcome home. Uh, sorry to barge in like this, but we heard there was a party. A party? <laughs> Who told you that? More good? Ah, uh, that makes sense. They... <laughs> you... Don't have to have a party just because I dealt with Mirak. He wasn't exactly a world-ending threat. Well, maybe not, but you did it without replacing him, and that's huge. I believe we're celebrating the fact that you're still here. Oh. Grim thoughts, to be sure. How are you doing this, Mir? Need any help pushing tables around, or...? No, no. But thanks. I think I'm alright. I barely ever get a chance to talk to just you two. Have you been? How was your vacation? Oh, you know, can't go five minutes without something happening. We mostly just ended up doing favors for the guard captain while we were in Bruma. Someone put his arm through all manner of oblivion and... I'll be fine. I just need a few days. I... I wish I could help with that. I'm not that good of a healer, but... Maybe if I put my mind to it, I could learn. You're always welcome up at the college. Just tell Ferolda you're the Dragonborn and she'll let you right in. Though, I'm not sure Colette would know how to teach someone to heal people like us. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I need to work on my foundational knowledge before I try to do something like... That. I came to Skyrim to be a shaman and turned into a soldier instead. No, you've done just fine, Kinoa. And you're no soldier. I'm not? There's a difference between a soldier and a warrior. You're the latter. And just because you can fight doesn't mean you can't... do whatever it is you think shamans do. Oh. That's a good point. What do you think shamans do, anyway? 
heal people, remember things. Follow the water and be the bridge. I think I'm done following the water. I'm not sure I want to remember anything else. Might as well work on being the bridge. You've been to Sovngarde. You ride dragons. Seems you're doing well on that score already. <laughs> and what will you two do? Well, we're back. Well, I suppose I should go make sure various castles and colleges and whatnot haven't imploded in my absence. And I've always got work to do. You, sir, need to rest your arm. How is it that every time we meet, you're in pain? I, I mean, the first time we met was in Fuller's Tooth and you were... Oh, uh, that's what you meant. Yeah, well, nothing I can't soldier through. I thought you said there was a difference between soldiers and... There is. And I am. She's... Not. Hmm. This is gonna come as an odd question, but... Do you actually want to be called she? Ah... Uh, ah, uh, I promise I had nothing to do with this. Ingrath is just freakishly observant when I least expect it. No, no, I figured I just... I need to think about it. You knew. Me? Uh, yeah. I was privy to a few things I probably shouldn't have been during the war. Huh. That explains how carefully you've been talking about her. Or... him? Uh, that... Uh... I... I don't know. That's kind of a big question to spring on someone, isn't it? In my experience, no. Not really. Most people never stop to think about questions like that, and those that do usually do so because the answer is no. They aren't comfortable with what folks are calling them. Oh. You've known some very interesting people. My work attracts those who don't fit in for one reason or another. Mercenaries and mages have that in common. Some people try to learn how to change and they go your route. Some people just get angry that they can't and take it out on the world. And some people just suffer through it for one reason or another. Met a couple of those, too. Oh. That... that makes sense. Actually, that makes me wonder how many people I've met that were silently just... fighting that particular battle? I'd never know. No. And given your line of work, I suspect the answer is more than you would think. Have... you... questioned myself? Not really. I've never needed to. Just because I have a feminine side doesn't mean I'm a girl. <laughs> you have a feminine side? <clears throat> he does. Or a softer side, anyway. Whatever you want to call it. Hard to picture, I know. Not for me. That... Weirdly, makes me feel better. I'm still not sure I want to... know, or deal with the consequences of everyone else knowing anyway. Everyone knows the Dragonborn as a girl now. My voice is... like this. I don't know. And that's fine too. Is it? I killed Alduin, one would think that would be a bigger undertaking than just telling people, Hey, by the way, I'm a boy now. I can see how one might think that, but the reality is Alduin is dead and you never have to deal with him again. Everyone else is still alive and you have to deal with people every day. And you're still alive, which means you have to deal with you every day. Some days, it's rough. Even without adding judgmental Nords on top of it. Yeah, that's... I hadn't really looked at it that way. Thank you. You know, I'm really glad you're here because I'd have just been bumbling my way through this without any idea what to say about any of it. <laughs> Your bumbling is endearing, Arden. I'm glad you're both here. I need a minute. But I also didn't get a chance to show you two the basement the last time everyone was in Helgen. Want to see the armory while we wait for everyone else? I don't have a lot that I could put down there, but maybe it could be a group effort. Ooh, 
Artifact storage? Absolutely. And so I, being the resolute moron that I am, lobbed a fireball, or I guess firebolt since this was before I learned how focus worked, down the hallway and the whole place was absolutely crawling with goblins. Like, you have never seen so many in your life. Ew. Obviously I was absolutely stunned and didn't really know what to do, so Lopdia blocked the hallway with this big ice crystal. So, I notice you don't smell quite as much like Wolf anymore. What happened? Eh, you know. I got tired of the idea of being beholden to her scene after I die. Among other things, I'd rather not take the chance. Seeing Storm... Uh, well... Let's just say I'd rather know for certain. Understandable. Percy may be the fairest of the princes, but he's still a prince. You seem to know a lot about Percy for a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Family heirloom being one of Percy's hounds. Not all who worship him are were creatures, after all. Some of us are just hunters. Ooh, do you, uh, w could you tell me more about him? Being a werewolf myself and having just witnessed her memora at his worst, I kind of feel like maybe I should learn as much as I can so I don't get surprised in the future. Hmm? What happened to the Allmaker? <laughs> I was wondering if you'd caught that. I, I mean, I still... This is just curiosity in one of those, like, know your enemy kind of things. Being in the Dawnguard, I suspect I'll end up helping the Vigilance rebuild or something. Maybe I can sway them away from being absolute zealots and more toward actually embodying the mercy that Stendar is supposed to be known for. An admirable goal, if an idealistic one. Heh, <laughs> aye, that's me. Just take care you don't follow their path. Aye, the last thing I want to see, Wee Bairn, is you ending up with a heart so full of hatred that there's no room left for mercy. I'll do my best. Isran doesn't exactly make the best first impression as far as things like that go. <laughs> he sure doesn't. So, what I know about her scene, from a Bosmer's perspective. I was up there in the Earls, freezing, exhausted, and half bleeding to death. Ingrath fought off the bastards and brought me back to his bandit clan. I, uh, I actually thought he was one of the Thalmor at first, so, yeah, I've known for that long. Oh, so what would you do to piss them off, anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe they thought I was smuggling messages back and forth from elsewhere or something. See? I told you she knew. Yeah, well, I didn't want to believe it. Hmm, you always were a stubborn goat. Always. It's part of my charm to hear Arden say it. <laughs> well, he's right. <laughs> Speaking of stubborn... There is one small matter that I wanted to ask you about. What? Who keeps sending assassins after- Oh. Don't bother. I have no idea and frankly I'm fine to live and let live. They're going to come after you. You, Zaytas, the rest of the Brotherhood. Yeah, well, whoever they are, let them come. They don't scare me. Frankly, I'm glad they exist and would be happy to share. Plenty of contracts to go around, and we're probably both hurting after the Penitus Oculatus and their bullshit. Makes no sense to me to be squabbling over scraps when we're all vultures. Eloquently put, Stormy. <laughs> that said, as soon as I figure out who the bastards are and where they're hiding, I'm gonna send them a message. Hurt my people and suffer the same fate as the Old Brotherhood. Burn to the ground? I'm in love with a fire mage. I suspect he wouldn't take kindly to me getting hurt. We all saw what he did to Hegatha, and that was without pulling out the flames. Oh. Oh my. I hadn't thought of it like that. Neither did he, probably. He's stronger than he gives himself credit for. So are you. Maybe someday I'll believe you. Maybe he'll be the reason for it. Ah. That's cute. Are you two talking about me behind my back over there? Oh, we're hardly behind your back, Sparky. Ha ha. Right, where were we? Something about what your plans were? Retiring is not exactly what I expected to hear from you. 
Hey, well, I think I finally made my peace with the whole thing. With, uh, what? Old age? Well, that. I used to be an adventurer. I used to be someone, even if it was just to the skull and to lock there, sometimes to Raven Rock. I'm still someone, it's just who I am now is different from who I was. Grayer at the very least. <laughs> Wiser too, probably. I know how that feels, strange as that may be to hear from someone half your age. Which is a comment on my age, not yours. Eh, not strange at all, coming from a vampire. It isn't easy to change on purpose. It's even harder to make your peace with it once you realized it happened already and there's no going back. Uh, you've got that right. If someone had told me a year ago that I would end up befriending the vengeful ex-wife of my college expedition team's lawmaster, I would have laughed. Vengeful. Not so much anymore. Oh? No, I got my vengeance when I killed Madanak and... I've been lost ever since. Until I found Morgut again, and even then it took some time. Vengeance was all I had. Oh. But you did find something else. I did. The companions? No, oddly enough. I found me. I found... Really, it didn't sink in until... Storm. And seeing Lobdair again. You're not thinking of getting back with him, are you? By the Allmaker, no. We're terrible for each other. Okay, good. At least I know you haven't lost your mind or something. No, no, I... I do forgive him, but that doesn't mean I want him back in my life. Watching Mordgood try to prove herself to him and me and everyone... just... made me realize. All my life I wanted to be someone. And I am. I'm me. I don't have to be some great hero if I don't want to be. I hope someday Mordgood learns that too. You know... It occurs to me that Kinwa probably should have heard that, but... Oh, where'd she go? Good question. I'll be right back. There you are. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Too many people, you know? I absolutely do. Even when it's people you like, it can be too much, huh? <laughs> Finally, someone who gets it. <laughs> Uh, I can leave you alone if... No, that's... I'm glad you came up and not someone else. I've been thinking about... everything. And it just kinda... I guess it got too loud. I needed to see the sky. I understand completely. You know who else understands? Ingrath? I... well, probably, but... Yarnvita. Yarnvita? Yeah, you wouldn't expect it, but I was just talking to her, and that's a miracle in and of itself. Hey. But, yes. What she said was that she didn't need to be a hero. She just needed to be her, which is why the whole retiring thing and whatnot. That sounded a lot better in the moment, honestly. I didn't really do it justice, but the gist is you have to be you. Or something. <laughs> Thanks. I've been thinking about that, too. Yeah, I wonder if that was part of it. The whole thing, thing, with the... yeah. Yeah, I think that's why I'm so... Do you mind if I get weird for a bit? It's been weighing on me. Oh, go ahead. I live for weird. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah, I'm still wrestling with the idea that... What if I just feel like... I don't know. What if the idea of being a man is just more familiar to me because of who I've been? What if I'm supposed to be a girl so that I can learn something the others didn't? Like, what if that's why? I... I don't know. It's hard to articulate it because it's just... a feeling. Like... I want... I want to be me. But... I don't know if I can be if there's this whole, like, cosmic destiny floating over my head. 
I don't know if I've earned being myself. Uh, who? That's... Yeah, weird. I know. Sometimes I feel like the gods are watching me. Like all of Tamriel is watching me. And I'm not sure if they let me be a man. No, no, no. It's completely reasonable from where I'm standing. Not weird. Well, a little weird, but only because I don't think most people remember past lives. I certainly don't if I had any. You think so? Well, sure. I sort of know how that feels. Not completely, but, you know. Growing up in one of the more traditional cities in Cyrodiil and wondering if Stendar had any mercy for people like me. I wasn't sure if there was a reason, if Stendar or Mara or someone was testing me. I don't talk about it often. But I'm grateful that I found the strength to keep going, otherwise I never would have met Ingrath. How'd you find it? And... Was there an answer? I mostly just distracted myself this whole time, honestly. And gradually, I guess, decided that there wasn't really anything wrong with me, it's just that... Well... I think people like us don't get talked about often and aren't terribly loud about it because they're either trying to hide or... Oh, they didn't make it this far. Vivek is the exception, and that's because, well, one does not simply question Vivek. <laughs> that's a good point. Kind once told me I never was reason. I never needed a reason. <laughs> Maybe I just don't want to deal with the consequences and keep overthinking to the point of not saying anything. Well, she's right. And speaking from a strictly historical perspective, Lorcan or Shore or Shezar or whatever you want to call him has never really been one thing ever. Even when I was in the College of Whispers, there were scholars debating whether or not he was even an Aedra or a Daedra or neither or both. And then you have people like Pelinol and Wolfharth and Talos who are just as polarizing in their legacies and legends as Lorcan himself and... I'm getting very close to the edge of dangerous things to be talking about, but honestly, if the reason you end up being debated by scholars is because nobody can agree on your gender, including you, I think maybe you'll have left a better legacy than your predecessors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. Huh. Maybe Shore was a Daedra and Sovngarde is his realm. It would sort of explain the reincarnation thing. That's a Terrifying thought? Thanks. But it would sort of balance things out if Talos is... Wait, but... Talos and Lorcan are... Ooh, I'm gonna stop thinking down that road before someone smites me for it. I won't. Frankly, I'm glad you're around so that I have someone to talk with about this. Well, you're welcome, in that case. So... Maybe you already learned whatever it was you needed to learn, and that's why you're now starting to question things? All that matters, as Janrita said, is that you're you. Whoever and whatever that is. Ismir Kinoa Almerzim, Slayer of Dragons. <laughs> and Chaser of Skirts. <laughs> Where did that come from? Mordgood? Ah, oh, she's a sweetheart. An absolute beam of sunshine. It's a wonder Ingrath and I can stand to be near her. <laughs> it's true. And refreshing. I feel like the world got darker when I lost my eye. Literally and figuratively. And you two have helped me. More than I can ever express. Oh. I... <clears throat> So, are you planning any more adventures with the delightful Miss Mordgood? Maybe. I don't know. I've just been taking it one day at a time for so long it's hard for me to plan anything. I think what I need most is just... a break. Be a hermit. Sit up on a mountain and study words. Maybe hang out around here and practice the loot. Slay some dragons. I don't know. That sounds familiar. The one day at a time need a break thing. And the studying words thing. 
If I didn't have the college and the castle to keep track of, I'd love to come study Dovazil with you. Maybe learn some more shards myself. That could be fun. Not sure how good a teacher I am, though. Maybe I'll make up for it by being a good student. Uh, hate to interrupt, but we all noticed you two were gone. Everything alright up here? Oh, yeah, I just needed a minute. My own head got too noisy. A familiar feeling. Mordegut is worried about you. She is? Right. I probably should go make sure everyone knows I'm not, like... Yeah. I'm alright. Sorry. No need to apologize. We're the ones intruding. Kick us out at any time. <laughs> like I could ever have that much backbone. You face down the world leader, Ismir. You've got plenty. <laughs> you sneaky man. You just wanted to get me alone up here, huh? Maybe. So? What was all that about? Uh, just... Can we questioning things again? Commiserating about society? That sort of thing. Discussing what the future holds. And what does the future hold? A break. <laughs> well, sort of. Not for me, anyway. I need to get back to teaching and whatnot. Uh, and I should probably get back to work and... give you some space. Oh. Right. Space. You need your space, too. Sometimes. With you, though, the closer I am to you, the safer I feel. So maybe I won't need it as much in the future. But I understand you need space to work. I do. And I do apologize in advance for getting caught up in whatever project I find myself sucked into next. Hey, don't. It's peaceful watching you tinker away with things. It's peaceful just being in your company, love. Oh, Well, hey. You're always welcome up at the college, and now you don't have to worry about- Yeah... Maybe I'll come up to Winterhold after I check in with my work. Oh. Ooh. The Brotherhood? <sighs> Fuck, I forgot you know about that now. <sighs> I- Yeah. I've got to go check in with the Brotherhood and make sure nothing caught on fire while I've been away. Then I'll come meet you in Winterhold. Well, I can walk you part of the way there anyway. I think. Yeah, you did sort of spill a whole wagon full of secrets. I'm not sure how many of them you've forgotten about. You know, I'm just going to assume all of them and be grateful I have someone who... knows who I am and didn't leave. It might take a while for me to adjust, but... Thank you. I love you, Arden. I'm pretty sure I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. I feel the same way about you. Hmm. Hey, speaking of work and secrets and mages, do you mind if we take a detour on our way north? Just outside Whiterun, not far out of the way. Oh, sure. Why? Someone I'd like you to meet. She hired me, she's a mage, and I'm pretty sure she knows magic that you've never seen before. That's a bold claim. I assume you have evidence to back it up? I sure do. I'm thinking, between the two of you, maybe you can figure out a way to help Kinwa. Color me intrigued. First, you can't just spring something like that on me in the middle of a social engagement. Now I want to go see the shiny new magic and tinker with things. <laughs> Yeah, I love you. You've come a long way from some absent-minded scholar in Dwemer plate that was two sizes too big. <laughs> I guess I have. And you're to blame for a lot of that. Spare me, Sparky. I get all my advice from Dom. She's the one to blame. Oh, you little... Sparky. You do this on purpose, don't you? You know it, my lord. Stop! Make me... Oh. Hun, we're in the middle of... Sir. <laughs> Ingrath. A kiss would suffice, Tandangwa. <laughs> Gods, you're the worst.